collar, the neck, the noose, two cups of flour, one cup of water, a pinch of salt, a handful of mints, a bay leaf, a herb, a skeleton key for the nursery, and a mixing will go together. Okay, that actually sounded quite normal until the end. Um, okay. Um, okay. I'll do it, but I'm not happy about this. sure if oh no oh my god that freaking telephone I don't know something really terrible is gonna happen wait let me just check my notes first factory offices all the suggestions of a large workforce yet no actual signs of life it is every bit as if somebody has someone has attempted to carefully create the illusion of a working factory complex yet this facade when examined closely is clearly just a falsification but I must put aside my anxieties, quell the unease that pits my stomach, and continue on my path. What kind of, he made all of this, didn't he? I have such visions to share with thee, if my jaw be unshackled, and you harvest the crust from my eyes. Thus shall I be clean, madness, that my thoughts and words can unfoul it be. Okay, that was not a normal telephone conversation. Um. Okay. Big set again. All right. Well, that was illuminating. Um, oh my gosh. By which I mean it was not at all. Um, more drinks. Uh, more shirts. Cause you would totally keep a spare shirt in your uh, desk. Oh my God. There's music coming from somewhere. Oh my god. I really don't want to go in there. I also don't want to go in there, so I probably want to go in the hallway less. Oh god, that's really fucked up. Why is it getting louder? Why? No! I don't- ah! Why? What is that? What the hell? There's teeth and glasses. I really prefer the books and the alcohol. It's just a little bit less deranged. Oh. What does that even mean? What? Hang on. Are those real teeth? Like... Why... Can I turn that shit off? It's really not my style. Um, okay, so it just got me in here to look at some bloody teeth and glasses. I, I see. I, I see. What is that? Nothing. Oh, what was that? Sorry, I saw something click a bit. I really know something bad's about to happen any second. Oh my god. Hallways, bathrooms. Well, actually, to be honest, pretty much anything in this house has been pretty creepy. Um, actually, there's nothing in here. Um, okay, cool. I guess I shall move on. Um, okay. Let's see. October 11th, 1899. We integrate the very the very latest knowledge of chemistry using low levels of laudanum derivative in feed to subdue the product before, even before the initiation of the process. This means that when we drag them from holding pens onto the line, they're less likely to panic and damage machine components, other products, or themselves. This section of the belt is sheathed in rubber and kept well lit to maintain good spirits, and we've actually found the intelligent placement of gramophones God, and simple acoustic amplification tubes around the line means we can use music to further suit the product. We find Debussy. Is that how you pronounce it? Um, I've never known. Particularly the effect, particularly effective in this regard. Um, yeah, it's pretty fucked up. So it's kind of revenge of the pigs, I guess. So, um, or something? I guess we can monster pigs or, um, Warning, fueling pumps, volatile chemicals, and use these materials are highly corrosive wear protection. I have no protection. It's fucking wonderful. 
Um, that's fine. I'm pretty sure acid or whatever crisp material it is is not gonna be. It's gonna be like the least of my problems. Um, which I guess is kind of comforting in a way. Blood everywhere. Yep. Oh my god, the first pig. <gasps> okay. I wish I had not touched that now. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> okay. Alright. Snow. What was that sound? Oh my god. It's Okay, I'm gonna have to examine. Oh my god, these are all dead pigs. Okay. It's just it's all this talk of this of pigs, and I have an action. What is this? Pumping station. It appears to be some kind of fueling station. I've seen automobiles demonstrated at Dr. Yarm, Mr. Yarm, and Mr. Simmons' works. But the smell here is all wrong. This is not petroleum, of that I'm certain. I'm sure. Everything suggests to me that this machine must be significant in some way. Okay. Um. Oh, does it move? Okay, let's see. So there's something in there that isn't... Alright. Um, which is not actually... Well, we don't know what it is. It's black. It's corrosive. It looks like it's... Yeah, something you do not want to get in your eyes or your mouth. And I'm pretty sure rinsing is not going to help in this situation. Um... Oh no, more dead pigs. Oh my god, dead pigs everywhere. Oh my god, moving dead pigs by themselves. Oh wait, did I move that? Okay, that's locked anyway. Alright. Okay. I'm feeling a little uneasy with all the dead pigs around, I have to admit. But, you know. Okay, is this somewhere to go through? I don't know. We'll see in a sec. Is this. Okay. There seems to be a little room here. September 28th, 1899. Imagine, they say, a machine one day that might think like a man, as if this as if this is to be desired. One might almost boast of creating man who breeds like a pig. Men and women upon all fours, rutting carelessly, ejaculating their filthy little missives into the streets. Alleys and gutters running freely with the careless spiller of the contrainings. The air thick with the whimperings of lust. Bodies streaked with their own emissions. We have created a world where man is so utterly debased he'll spray his seed over passers by, and yet this is a condition Babbage aspires to. Okay. Um, no, this is not the machine we seek. Such an entity should be nothing less than a deity, and would fall upon our knees and worship it. We shall not carve gods to bicker and fornicate. They will exist to clean the world and set us free. I, re I reject Babbage as I, re I reject these men's of men of government. Let the pigs copulate in the gutters while they can. Just scoop them up and ease their ascension soon enough. That is weird. That was really weird. Um, guys, um, after that pleasant image, I guess we should move on. Um, I'm pretty sure that this is the way to go. I don't want to go through there. So, what is going on? I'm outside! I'm outside! I'm outside! You know, this seems like a great time to run for it. Is there anything up here? I don't think so. Alright. <clears throat> I'm really glad that I don't have to deal with those dead pigs anymore. Um. Wow. This is actually like properly outside as well. Strangers not allowed on these works. Inqu inquiries made at the lodge. Okay, um, well, um, yeah, okay, so I'm outside, this is, uh, what's this, Dr. St. Dunstan's Church, okay, um, holy orders, this church is connected to the plant, how odd, however, it does suggest another route back to the main, into the main part of the facility, given the locked doors around the fueling station. The truck blocks my way, however, almost as if the saboteur might consider this alternative entrance. Um, we're into the main part of the facility. Okay. 
Right. Um, so what, what truck? Oh, this truck. Come on, Papa. Let's climb this one. I can see more pictures at the top. Um, okay. Is there anything up here? I can get in here. Oh god, I don't want to go in there though. <gasps> what? Why? Why is this happening? I don't actually know why it does that sometimes. I can't tell if it means... Um... Something bad's happening, or... Okay, look, I'm just gonna try to... Wait, so it's this thing... Oh, there's a note here, oddly enough. Delivery schedule. How in the blazes are we supposed to meet these damn schedules if even the base equi equipment we are provided with simply will not perform its designated function? These cursed, cursed newfangled trucks will only run a fraction of the distance my old nag managed before running out of stinking gasoline. The gaffer says it's fine, and there are plenty of pumps to refill them outside the factory walls. But you end up dragging a, dragging a blessed tank from the truck to the nearest one to refill it, and the one in the storeroom is empty again. I can't be turning that crank handle all day only to find the tank empty. We'll sod it, I say. Enough for a night, and to bed I go. It's not like anyone needs access to the bleeding graveyard anyway. Harry, if you need this, I'll meet you in the Dempson Templar for a jar. Okay, so... Um... Uh, so, okay, all right, I'm not sure if that's useful at all, I don't think so, particularly, I mean, well, other than that guy, uh, apparently somehow never got back to the truck, which is super comforting, um, yeah, no. What is this? What is this? Okay, let's see. A strange container. This canister looks as if it might may fit the fuel pump I saw earlier. It certainly carries the same fetid, unholy reek. I will not think of that which I saw pass me in its cage. I will not gaze again into that dark machine room. A more immediate task presents itself, and the opportunity, perhaps, to gain access to Saint Dunstan's. Okay. Um. I mean, I guess that. Yeah. I mean, I was pretty sure this was. I needed to take this back to the, uh... Wait, what? Oh, no. Okay. Alright. Oops. This should damage the, uh... The steer before I get it back to the fueling station. Um, okay. So I just gotta take it back. Um, where is it, actually? Is it through here? Wait, yes. Um, right, yeah, through here. Um... God damn it. Okay, um, I don't remember exactly where it was. I think it was through. Oh, god damn it. I'm not being very careful with this thing. Pretty sure. It's sturdy. It's super sturdy. Oh my god, but there's so many dead pigs in here. I really don't want anything to happen right now. Um, okay, hang on. What? How do I connect to it? Oh god, okay, just like that. Alright. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? I can't open the door. Oh my god. I guess I gotta go back here. Dear sweet lord of all that is good and holy, I must make my escape grasp this container and its putrid contents and flee this place before that creature. That nearly man returns. I will head for the church. Surely such an abomination could not follow onto hallowed ground. So I've got to run for it. Really fucking hell. I'm not happy about this. Wait, hang on. How do I... What? Do I actually have to run for it? Though? Wait, what? Aren't I supposed to grab that box thing? No? Wait, I'm... 
would rather keep I have to say. Alright. Oh something bad is gonna happen. Okay, oh god, I gotta run. I'm really quite scared right now actually. Because um like quite honestly that was not even close to uh nice. Okay, hang on. Please just jump. Just jump, god damn it. Is there a way? Okay, hang on. Wait, but I thought I could jump on that. Okay. Okay, cool. I guess I just can't just jump when I'm carrying a tiny box in my hand very well. Um I don't know which way it is and this is freaking me out. I don't even know where to put this. Um what I'm supposed to be doing with it right now. Yeah, so what am I supposed to do with it? Oh gosh, my box, my box. Um, hang on, I'm aren't I supposed to put it in yeah, yeah. Um, maybe put it down for a sec. Actually, okay, I thought I heard something. <laughs> There's probably sound in the background somewhere. Nothing. Uh. Oh, maybe I can. If I can get up. Oh, okay, there's a pig's head. Fucking wonderful. Oh, wait, one. Yeah, but I know it's blocked. Oh, maybe I have to. Yeah. You know, where's the box? Where is it? Alright, cool. Um, better do something with this box. Um, maybe... Maybe here? Something to do with... God damn it. Oh, wait, hang on. Get my box back. Um. Hello? Box? Box! What about my box? Oh, right. I need to get my box back. Oh my god, wait, did I just lose my box? Fucking hell. Oh my god, this is really not good. Mm. Is that actually gonna be like completely. It's gonna be completely fucked because I just lost my box. Oh, wait, I got it. Wait, hang on. Oh, thank god. That was. That would have been really bad. Okay. Gotta be more careful with this box. Wait, hang on. Didn't it just. Hang on. Actually, that's a good plan. I can actually see what I'm doing now. Um, what is happening though? Hang on. Um, let's see. Um, okay. Is there a way I can? Oh, here we go. Cool. Okay. Into the... Okay. Right. Great. Wonderful. Now... Now... Now what? Um... Do I have to start it or something? Maybe I can get up on this side. Yeah. I'll just try to jump up on there, maybe? Um, no, I guess not. Is that not gonna... Okay, well... Okay, well, I got that part of it done. Um, and I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do now. Let's see. Because um, I can't seem to get up actually onto the thing. 
Um, no, really? I really need to, okay. Why am I not? Okay, am I not really supposed to get up there? Okay, this is not good. Um, anyways, I, oh, um, okay, it's kind of time for me to end this soon. Um, looks like I actually got quite a lot done today. Um, but yeah, once I get into that church, I'll feel a lot better. Not that I'm religious or anything, but you know, I, I actually not, I don't believe some random notes, uh, or whatever it was, you know, shooting about the place. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm close to getting this truck moving. I'm pretty sure once I, oh, really? I got up here. But I don't know if this is actually going to help. It doesn't seem like there's anything I can do up here. Oh, weirdly enough. Okay. Um, oh, maybe. Oh. Ah, uh, no. Oh, okay, I see. Oh my god. Like, seriously, I'm going to go in there so fast. So f this way, Papa. Come and see. Will it hatch? Can we take it home? Yes, my darling. Of course we can take it home. Right. Right. Okay, this church is really... Okay. So, remember that thing I said about hopefully getting into the church and everything would be okay? <gasps> what is that? Okay, well, you know what? I think this is a good time to end. Um, alright. In a creepy cemetery. Um... So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. Please like, comment, all of that good stuff, and I'll see you guys next time.